My research is the computation of soft materials with applications in nanoscience and nanotechnology. So I'm interested in systems at nanoscale and mesoscales, say from nanometers to micrometers. Uh, my group uses uh, both uh, computer simulations and theories to study the behavior of soft materials at surfaces and interfaces. A challenge in studying these complex materials is that their behavior spans over several time and length scales. So we must choose property methods to study them at different scales and then figure out ways to bridge these results in order to achieve a better and more comprehensive understanding of these systems. This is a so-called multi-scale modeling strategy. So the methods we used in our group range from full atomistic molecular dynamic simulations, Monte Carlo simulations with cost screen models, to sometimes even just a phenomenological theory that can capture the essential physics and the basic features of the system. One ongoing project in my group is to map out the phase behavior of confined block copolymers. These materials can self-assemble into periodic structures at nanometer scales. They therefore have lots of applications in nanotechnology. Here is a Monte Carlo simulation showing that asymmetric di-block copolymers spontaneously form hexagonally packed cylinders in the bulk. But things become much more complex when the copolymers are confined in thin films of tens to hundreds of nanometers uh, in thickness. Each color in this phase diagram uh, corresponds to a different structure. Another system I'm interested in is polyelectrolytes. So in contrast to most neutral polymers, these charged polymers are water-soluble and therefore have lots of great interest in biological and industrial applications. For example, most biopolymers, such as DNA, are polyelectrolytes. But these materials are difficult to study because there are multiple length scales in the system. Uh, but coming, uh, coming from both long-range electrostatic interactions and short-range exclusive volume interactions. So one project we are pursuing is to model uh, DNA microarrays. This is in collaboration with other, with other groups in our department and in chemistry. The goal there is to greatly improve the poor performance of uh, current DNA assay through our understanding of these systems at a molecular level. Another project is to model the polyelectrolyte layer-by-layer -layer assembly process. So this technique has attracted exponentially growing interest since proposed in early 90s and has a wide variety of potential applications. But our knowledge about this process has been gained almost exclusively from large amount of experiments, which were done by trial and error. So now we can model the deposition of each layer and can therefore gain insights on the internal structure and the formation mechanism of the film. I think Carter State University is a very nice place for people doing research and doing science here. For example, my department is not big, so students can build a very good personal relationship with their advisors, with other faculty members in this department. And this is going to be very helpful for them, even later on they graduated. The students, they have a great freedom to choose the projects they want to work on. And I can guide them through these projects, but later on they will be the one who decide what to do in these projects. So they got a lot of room for doing their research.